All right, so to solve this problem, let's start by splitting it up into the positive and negative. So we'll have on one side, five times the quantity two x plus one is greater than or equal to 15, or five times the quantity two x plus one is less than or equal to negative 15. So let's look at the side with positive 15 first. So we're going to want to distribute that 5 to both terms in the parentheses. So then we'll have 10x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 15. And now we can subtract 5 from both sides. And we'll get 10x is greater than or equal to 10. And then once we divide that by both sides of the inequality, we'll end up with x is greater than or equal to 1. All right, and then let's move over to this other side here with the negative 15. So once again, we're going to want to distribute that 5. So then we'll get 10x plus 5 is less than or equal to negative 15. All right, and now we can subtract 5 from both sides. And then we'll get 10x is less than or equal to negative 20. And after we divide that 10 by both sides, we'll have x is less than or equal to negative 2. Alright, so those are our two solutions. Now let's graph those. We can start by plotting negative 2 and positive 1. So as you can see, x is greater than or equal to 1. Since that includes 1, we'll shade in that bubble there to show that we're including it. And if x is also greater than 1, that includes every value bigger than 1, so we'll shade all the way to positive infinity. And then for this other solution here, with negative 2, we know once again that it includes the negative 2 since we have the equal to bar to the less than sign, so we'll shade in the bubble. And then since x is everything less than negative 2 as well, we will shade to negative infinity. So if we write this in interval notation, that will be a parenthesis because we always use parentheses with infinities. So then, so then it'll be open parenthesis negative infinity because you can never really reach infinity. That's why we do the parenthesis there. Comma, negative 2. And then we close with the bracket since we're including the negative 2. Or, and then we'll open with a bracket and we'll have 1 comma, positive infinity, and close with the parentheses. And that is our solution.